This is me, Erica. Um, I know it's been a really long time since I made an updated video. So there's been so much going on and um, I kind of wanted to share with you guys, especially my viewers that um, have PCOS and um, thyroid issues, health issues and fertility issues, um, and people who are interested in the gastro bypass surgery. So I had my surgery, I'll kind of go over, I had it in March um, the 18th of last year. So um, this year, it's been a year already in some months and um, I'll be going on to two years in March of 2016. So I was 298 and I went down to the lowest I went down was to like 158 ranging from 160 so um, I lost a lot of weight I guess like 138 pounds within the year and let me tell you my health has never been so um, great I had a lot of complications in the beginning it was very hard and difficult for me um, each body is different. My body reacted not well. My body went into shock. And um, I was in the hospital in and out in the beginning. And um, I was in there for a month. But because they found a staple in my stomach. So uh, one of the doctors, I don't know if when he came out he just didn't... Um, I, he missed one, or I don't know, but my my body was rejecting it. I was throwing up. I was really sick. Not only did I already have the the sickness, obviously, because your body is healing from the inside. So, um, but with that as well, I was just like double, like really sick. So no one could find anything. They kept on doing upper GIs on me, and it was just really hard. Um, but once they found the staple, everything probably within that week. I started feeling better. They had to put a pig line um, to help me because I was so weak I couldn't eat anything. So after all of that, basically everything started going smoothly. I started getting back issues. I already had kind of my back kind of already hurt, but my tailbone um, started hurting really bad and it still hurts. So I was doing uh, a lot of physical therapy, different stuff like that, and trying to exercise and kept on losing weight I was still uh, I was you know eating what I eat and everything and you just keep on losing the weight until your body basically plateaus on you um, but you can keep on trying so I um, wanted to get to size 8 that was my I was obviously wanting my weight to be a certain weight but I was more interested in my health for one two I wanted to be that to me, my body style, but that would be good because I wouldn't be too skinny and I wouldn't be too big. And um, everybody was like, you're getting so skinny, da da da. Just depends on you of what you think is best for you. So don't listen to negativity or just try to surround yourself with positive people if you are thinking about doing this. So I have a big surprise for all of you. Um, I. Um, uh, like I said before, I had polycystic ovary syndrome. Well, I have polycystic ovary syndrome and I have thyroid issues. So it made it really difficult for me to lose the weight and I was borderline diabetic. I had a lot of health issues, so that was why I decided to do the surgery. So I had a lot of um, issues with my fertility of going through miscarriages and not being able to get pregnant. I wasn't getting my periods. So once I had the surgery and I started losing the weight, um, I got my period right away. But then it kind of stopped because I was losing it so fast that um, my body was just kind of out of whack still. So when I was big, I was out of whack. And then you lose it too fast, it's out of whack. There has to be a balance. So by the time I started losing the weight, um, I started getting regular every month and my body I mean my you know hormone levels my 
you know, thyroid, as long as I take my thyroid medication. And um, I was still doing that metformin, even though sugar was okay, but because of my PCOS, the doctor just said it was fine to keep on taking it. I don't, I was taking twice two pills, um, you know, when I was uh, bigger, but I stopped because I didn't want to, you know, you're not eating that much. So I stopped, I only started taking one once a day. And, um, sorry if I'm just hot. Um, and then basically what ended up happening is, so that's how I was going. My blood levels were good. Everything was really good. It's like the healthiest I've been. So, um, April, before April, so, um, March, yeah, March, like the ending of March, I found out I was pregnant. So, let me tell you, <laughs> I was completely in shock because I was not expecting it at all like literally right within a year and right where the size I wanted to be I was already kind of like you know God I, it's not happening for me and I was already kind of planning to see if I had to see uh, a fertility specialist and saying okay within probably the, the you know this coming year two years three years I'll start looking into adoption if I can't have a baby um, because it takes a long time but as long as I could get the process started and everything like that so um, I started kind of feeling sick and I'm like and like I said I've been feeling super good and healthy and um, I don't know so I just decided you know what I'm, I'm gonna take a test and it wasn't literally did not cross my mind I thought it was I got a pregnancy test and I was expecting it to be negative <laughs> so um, I thought maybe, uh, I was like, maybe because I haven't got my period, maybe I'm just hormonal or, you know, my boobs are sore because of that, or I was thinking all kinds of stuff. And I was like, oh, man, I go, I hope it's not something else, and I'm starting to get sick, and who knows, you know, I'm feeling lightheaded, dizzy, I hope I don't have, you know, iron deficiency or anemic or something. So... I was like, I take all my medication, I take the vitamins, I take everything, so I hope it's not that. So, it turns out I was pregnant. And uh, I was super happy, and I was in shock. So, I was pregnant with um, the baby. I found, I, you know, we found out I was pregnant. We're super happy. Um, we ended up announcing it on Easter. And literally, like, right after that, uh, we kept on going to doctors. I was feeling kind of sick. I was having pain, so I kept going going to the emergency room. And the baby just wasn't growing the way it was supposed to be growing. So I was really disappointed. The doctors like to wait, so they had to send me to um, to a high risk pregnancy because of my past, because I've had miscarriages, and um, because of my PCOS and my gastro bypass surgery and all these different issues so and because I was taking pain, pain medication and um, all that stuff so it's kind of so anyway so they end up sending me to the um, high-risk pregnancy so they ended, so I ended up seeing the specialist they did an ultrasound and I was expecting to see a heartbeat because I'm like okay it's it should be time to see a heartbeat the baby was still small it grew just a little and there was no heartbeat so the doctor just basically said either you take it out or you wait, we'll wait one more week to see if um, if maybe there's a difference. Maybe we didn't calculate it right because of your periods or whatever. So what ended up happening is um, she's like, if not, you're going to lose it within this weekend. So it was Friday, I think it was, or Thursday, and I ended up losing it. So not only, I totally forgot about this too, that... When I had my surgery, my mother was making a big deal about my blood type. So I, I'm RH negative, which is, you know, a lot of people say RH negative or O negative blood type. My blood is rare. There's a lot of people who do have it, but it's a, a rare type of blood. So what happens is your body, if I get pregnant and there's, uh, the baby has a different blood type as me, my body ends up attacking it like a virus. Like it, it thinks it's a virus, so it rejects it, tries to get rid of it. So 
what happens is you're supposed to get a shot. So it's, uh, what is it called? It's a shot that the doctor gives you and it basically protects you and the baby. And um, I ended up getting that shot. So anyway, so I went to the, they told me, the doctor did tell me, she's like, if you end up bleeding, go into the hospital, go into the hospital right away to the ER, have them check you and have them give you the shot because it could affect you and it'll make it worse for the next baby. And through all these years, I never knew, and I've had miscarriages and I never did anything. So the doctor ended up giving me a shot. I said the baby was still in there, even though I started bleeding. Um, so I had to go back. Once they had me on bed rest, they said, once you start bleeding the chunks, just come back. So I had to go back again. Then the baby wasn't there, so I was really devastated. So I was devastated, upset. So basically that happened. So anyway, so after that, within less than a month, we ended up going, uh, we ended up leaving to Vegas on a little vacation. And I come back and then everything is normal, making sure that the blood levels are low. They made sure that I'm like regular again, that I have uh, no pregnancy hormone. So everything was back to normal. I started feeling sick again. <laughs> So it turns out I'm pregnant again. So now, at this moment, I am uh, 25 weeks. The baby will be born in February. That's what they say. So the doctor thinks that maybe by the ending of January, beginning of February, they gave me the due date of a Valentine's Day baby. And um, I'll be having a girl. So um, that's basically my journey for right now and why I haven't been um, able to really post anything. It's like so much has been going on and I've been wanting to share with you guys and kind of go over stuff and I'm gonna keep on doing the videos and I wanted to blog it since way before. I was gonna start with the other one and kind of share with you guys because I know some of you guys uh, maybe are planning to get healthier because you guys wanna have a baby or see if the your PCOS will go away or get treated, um, get healthier. So, my that was me. Well, I had a variety of different things. My health, I want to have a baby, and um, but I promise you, I didn't think it was gonna happen that fast. I thought that it would have taken a little, you know, taken a little longer. But I'm so happy, and um, it's amazing because, you know, I've been, uh, you know, I've been with my husband for. So I was 18, so we've been together for almost 12 years, and we've had like no luck. I mean, in the beginning, obviously you're not really looking, I wasn't really planning to have a baby for way later, but then you go through a stage that you wanna have a baby, and it's like, doesn't happen, or certain things, or complications, and it gets very hard and frustrating, and especially when you have you know PCOS, and your weight is like this and that, and you have no periods, and obviously you can't get pregnant, without ovulating you have to get your period so it makes it very difficult and frustrating and then you see the doctor and the doctor checks you and says oh everything is perfect there's nothing wrong with you well then why am I not getting my periods why am I not getting pregnant why is this happening to me why is that and it gets really frustrating so um, I kind of just wanted to share and go into more detail but I know it's already been you know like 13 minutes and I don't want to bore you guys but um, I am going to be posting some pictures and uh, everything so far has been great. Um, it's just kind of in the beginning was really hard for me. I was really sick. I was throwing up and then I had pain in my stomach because I physically get so hungry. Like I want to eat and I want to eat. Like I already gained like 20 pounds, like 21 pounds I think. And let me tell you, I've been kind of, been really kind of, it's conflicting because you're like, oh my God, I don't want to eat. I don't want, I don't want to go through this because you've lost so much weight and you've gotten to your goal weight and you're excited and you're happy. And I mean, I love to shop. I wanted to shop all the time and I'm like where I want to be. And then this happens and you start seeing yourself gain weight again. And you're like, oh my God, you know, what if I become like I was before? Or what if all this suffering was for nothing? Like, that's what I think. You know, the suffering was for nothing. And, you know, in the same time, it's like, this is what I wanted. I want a baby. And I have to focus on trying to be healthier. 
And um, after I have the baby, just keep on walking and doing whatever I need to do. And I need to walk now. And I've been kind of, I've been so lazy that I haven't really done it, but I have to start. So I have gained that much weight. And um, like I said, it was really hard in the beginning. I was throwing up, I was really sick. And I had a lot of pain because my stomach's been stretching because I've been eating more. And it does happen when, I mean, I haven't seen really videos of anybody else who, I've seen some, I think, um, but I don't think they really talk about that, that when they're pregnant, their stomach hurts or stretches or if they ate more. I've been eating way more than I ate before. So the bigger I'm getting, the more um, I've been wanting to eat. And I've noticed that certain tolerance levels have been a little more easier for me. Like I crave candy and I know it's bad, but I want it. <laughs> so I'll have, you know, Snickers. I love Snickers and Reese's. And um, I noticed that I'm able to eat that a little more, you know, than getting a sugar rush. Um, I get more sick with the milks or greasy food, really, really greasy food. So if I have greasy stuff, I'll get, um, <clears throat> I'll start getting really hot sweating my heart starts racing I get sick I feel like I'm freaking want to barf so um so those are like the kind of the only issues but I know that you start eating more so I have gained weight and a lot of it's just my belly and it, I mean my cheeks I feel like have filled in a little more which is good because you know I was I was getting thinner and I'm, I'm fine with it I just don't want to gain too much weight but I'm kind of I'm like oh my gosh I'm six months, I have three more months to go. Well, technically four because it's supposed to be up to the 10th, but you know, it doesn't really happen. It usually goes up to the 9th or, yeah, like the 9th month. Um, so, seven, eight, nine, so three more months. So I'm hoping that within these three months, which will actually be this, maybe November already, so I'll be after November two months. And um, I'm hoping that I don't gain that much more weight. So I'll keep you guys updated. I have some belly pictures, so I'll take some for you guys. I will, I'll put it in the video. If you guys do have any questions for me, um, feel free to ask me or comment below. And then I will keep you guys updated. And then for all you girls that have questions in regards to, you know, uh, trying to get pregnant or, you know, wanting to know what I did, um, you know the process I could kind of explain to you I didn't take any fertility medication or anything like that I just been uh, just with the weight loss by itself and the metformin and taking my thyroid medication taking all the vitamins I think it helped me so much so I mean if you have questions or anything feel free to ask me and I'd be more than happy to help you and then um, I'll keep you guys posted on everything and again Message me, write me, comment me, and keep in touch with me, okay? Thank you, guys. Subscribe to my page. Bye.